Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot, and this video will not be 41 minutes long like the last one. It'll be a little bit more uh, appropriately linked. So today we're playing as uh, the Maya. We're going to try a wide victory, probably a science victory, or wide... We're going for a wide build, probably a science victory, rather. And uh, so far, so far things have been pretty peaceful, actually. Haven't uh, run into any problems with the Russians. We are playing on Immortal difficulty. Here's the setup. Pangea map, standard size, epic length. So uh, things will take longer, but that'll hopefully give us some more time at the same time. So... Uh, Go ahead and let's continue on here. Let's see about getting those truffles over there online. One of my cities has been converted to another religion. I'm not a fan of this. Let's see about getting a missionary. That sucks that we uh, lost our city to another religion. We have equal pressure coming out right now. Which is not the greatest. Whoa! Venice lost its capital already. Alright, well. Venice is out of the Sorry. game, guys. Bobby. So I guess Zanzibar is now Venice's new capital. They can't build anything in it. <sighs> so yeah, Venice is thoroughly out of the game. That sucks. Sucks for them. Made off to policy. Let's go ahead and... I've yet to determine how far we're going to go into this tree. I know that I want at least this. I doubt it's going to give us... Uh... Yeah, it'll only give us uh, plus three faith. But I mean, still, that's plus three faith from our uh, building that already gives us plus two because it's special. So I think that's as far as we're going to go down into that tree for now. We may make it so that our uh, temples make money for us later on. We'll see how far we want to play on our uh, religion game here. And that's where our third city should be. So 16 turns till theology. Very good. We're in pretty good shape. those guys back over here. We're still definitely the smallest army I would do or not. Okay. Interesting. Well, I guess that makes sense that Venice has been conquered, that Venice is neutered, and now we're the second smallest army. Russia's, Russia's being uncharacteristically chill. They would not be this chill on deity. So... Oh well, it's practice. <laughs> Another thing to consider is that uh, I can get my national college up now, and I probably should really work on that. So I'm going to have to rearrange things around uh, Palinque here, and uh, get every last friggin' hammer I can. Make sure I don't lose any food in the process. city, on the other hand. Uh, let's build a granary. Water mill. City walls, temple, amphitheater. We'll probably want all of them.
Chichen Itza is ready to go. Let's, uh... Hmm. But they're recommending uh, that. I think an amphitheater is probably a better bet. I'm also going to just lock growth on all my cities with an enhanced user interface. You just click right beside the population and just click the check mark for locking growth. You can do that anywhere. This is not a new feature that's added in by a mod. In case you're wondering. Hmm. Oh, and there's another barbarian encampment here. Let's go ahead and farm some experience. A lot of food potential there. There's not a lot of production. And then same goes for here. There's well, there's some production. Not gonna make the best city though. Oh, hello. Guess we have some agreements that have expired. So this city can uh, go off of avoid growth. We actually don't need that guy to be on a food tile. Now we can put him anywhere. Put him there. 21 turns till National College. That's going to get us in just just after turn 150. Uh, I think we'll actually bring this guy down here and we'll chop a forest to try to speed that up a little. And then once our National College is built, we can uh, we can build more settlers if it is safe to do so. Go ahead, finish that farm there. Yeah, we'll continue to do that for you, Catherine. And here we're going to just go ahead and we're going to chop the forest. That looks like it's a grassland underneath, so that'll turn into some nice farmland. I don't feel like giving them open borders at this point. We could be close to the point where they uh, start considering attacking me. I'm wondering who the guy with the biggest army is here, because I've already met two warmongers. I'm wondering who... Hmm. We will find out, I guess. Moscow's by far the best trade route so far, if we don't want to just grow Palinque. Let's go ahead and actually unlock Chichen Itza's growth. So we've gone ahead and we finished theology. Yeah, for the Maya, we should be getting our uh, the long count to start and our first great person anytime now. We'll go ahead and we'll grab sailing because we've got uh, one coastal city and likely we will have several others. We'll start linking things up with roads as soon as we can manage it. We might as well start now, actually. There are two nearest cities. He 
He who commands the sea has command of everything. Interesting. I thought the long count, uh... I thought the long count has already, uh... Gave us a uh, great person at the beginning. All right, I guess not. Well, that's annoying. Oh well. Still get a great. We'll still get our uh, national college up before uh, or just after turn 150. I think is good. I think it's good. Not sure, but I think it is. Ireis considerar esta oferta? So I suppose that just bribing them with horses is actually what uh, gave me the uh, gave me all that in the first place. Do they actually want horses? No, they couldn't care less. Take a look at where we are in the science rankings. We're at the bottom, not surprising there. Although I would have thought my uh, unique building would help uh, me get a head start on them. But I guess not yet. Probably get horseback riding since we have so many horses. Now let's see here. So this... Uh... I think we want to get this city set up because that way we'll be able to push pressure towards Tikal here. And now we don't have any interest in going to war with her, you twat. She's the only one who's made a declaration of friendship yet. These guys actually need to stop building the farm right here. And I think I'm going to just rearrange things a little bit here. We're going to do this. We're going to try to knock a few turns off of that. Just because why the hell not? All right, so virtually all the citizens are Jewish there. That's very good. And now we can move these guys down to uh, our capital here. Or Talik Tikal. Tikal. We'll say it's Tikal. Where's Chichen Itza anyway, guys? I'd like to get uh, bonus points. <laughs> bonus points if you build Chichen Itza and Chichen Itza, right? <laughs> Let's see here. Only one allowed in the world. Length of Golden Ages increased by 50% plus 4 happiness. And yet, uh, well, we have a chance at it. So you know what, let's push for civil service since we should be going there anyway. And long count bonus, excellent. What do you think, guys? I think we'll probably lose out on Chichen Itza anyway. I think that the optimal thing to do is to get a great scientist first. Alternatively, we could get our great profit out and cement the uh, rest of our religion. Um... We could also get some of these guys increase culture. We could get a great admiral and uh, have him explore the oceans, but that's not really necessary on this type of map. 
Uh, yeah, so it's either great merchant, great scientist, or great engineer. I would say great scientist at this point. And I would say we plant him right here. And we move these guys over here and we lock them into place. Make sure they do not move. We want that tile to be worked. Continue moving south, I guess. Just keep on exploring stuff. Move these guys here and let's build the road. We flip the city over. It's probably going to flip back over because, as, because of the pressure. Uh, let's go ahead and let her have open borders. Let's see. So, eight pressure. Oh, that jackass still has his battering rams. Interesting. I guess it makes sense. <laughs> I haven't even gotten mathematics yet there. And there's absolutely no need to keep the city on the uh, locked, keep it locked down anymore. So we're also going to set it back to default. And, oh, this is interesting. Prague's been taken over by uh, Syria here. Those warmongering little jerks. So walls, and then I think that... Amphitheater and Writing Guild are both extremely important. We both really need to get those up. They both really need to be built. And then I think to call on the other hand here, I think to call ought to build some settlers since... Yeah. To call needs to build some settlers. We need to build additional trade routes. Let's go ahead, we'll finish that farm up. You know what, sure, Russia, I'll let you open borders, but if you pull any shit on me, I'm totally attacking you. I'm gonna beat you up and take your lunch money. Well, we've got tremendous amounts of iron. I'm worried about not having any coal whatsoever in the industrial age because we've got so many early resources here. I'm also annoyed that Russia isn't doing anything more impressive than just sitting on their butt, whittling their thumbs. Alright, we've got four turns until we get a free worker in our capital. So that's what we're going for next. We're going to finish up our liberty tree, get our next great person. We'll see if we can get this, the Chichen Itza. We'll try very, 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 very hard for it. But I will not be surprised if we don't get it. Oh, hello! There's nastiness coming in here.
They're probably going to take my piggies. So we'll bring our archers back. We probably should have a bigger army. Camp has been destroyed by bar marauding barbarians. Huge surprise. So you're going up here. You're going to hook up those second uh, set of gems. You just keep on working. He can't get over there to hurt you. All right, so that's been taken care of. These guys just don't want to work anymore. All right, good. So my cities aren't going to grow anytime soon, specifically. It's too bad that we can't uh, pop into commerce yet, but we really need to finish this off. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do that. We're going to make sure these guys are well guarded and we're going to hook up our luxuries again. And that's absolutely ridiculous, but we may have a chance at it. We may have a chance. Uh, we're going to be in debt if we don't. I'm going to go ahead and hook up with Melbourne here just to get the uh, city-state rep. And I think we'll go ahead and we'll start... Uh, Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and go over here. We need the connection. It's annoying, but we do need it. Mm, I think this might still be the best bet. I'm not sure where I want to start my uh, first tile of the road. Hey, Maria, do you like iron? Do you want some iron? Yes. Will you give me for two iron? Will you give me for one iron? 67? Sure. Oh, Monty's got lots of money. Let's do something incredibly dumb, folks. Actually, probably could have traded for something better, like a luxury resource. Oh well. I'm gonna take five turns to chop down that forest. Let's uh, let's go ahead and let's get Chichen Itza set up. I mean, it hasn't already been built. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Fine, let's do something far more practical, like a market. And that's the timer. Alright, so I'm going to run through uh, two more turns here, and then I'm going to throw a cut down in the video, guys. I'm 
we've automatically purchased another missionary. All right, so we're going to switch over to Pagonias now. And it'll take 23 turns to build our first Pagonia. Okay. Cool. Got 12 pressure, they've got 8 pressure for me. Portugal has its own religion. And where would we want a settler, guys? I think maybe right here. I think we'll try for that area. We'll give it a shot. We'll see about maybe converting Melbourne as well. I don't think we have to worry about this city over here. So we'll go ahead and we'll clear out that encampment. All right, so we've got first bit of the road. We'll do the second bit. Super exciting, I know. Oh, there's salt down there. All right, so that looks like it did a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Damn. All right, well, there's eight pressure for our religion. There's 12 pressure for their religion. Kind of a bizarre little three-way split. Problem with this city is it's going to lose its majority at some point of my religion. Let's build a city. So we've got that city set up and ready to go. Um, start with a uh, pyramid and then get a monument. Possible to purchase all the way up there? Not quite. Not quite enough money. I don't want to go to war with Maria. She's the only one who's given me a declaration of friendship. And we got a long count bonus here. All right, so... Crap. Can we, can we get out of this, please? I don't know what I want yet. I don't know what I want. Well, I guess this makes it easy. I mean, I can't get a great scientist twice. So I either get a great profit to finish things up, or I get a uh, great merchant for uh, city trade, get a city-state alliance. Guess I do a great engineer. All right, uh, what can we uh, rush build? I 
fucking rush build the Great Mosque of uh, De Jing there. Also rush build this. A couple of things we can do. Thing options, folks. Interesting. How powerful is this guy going to be? Culture, faith. Hmm. Free mosque. Oh, it gives extra it gives extra charges to missionaries. That's pretty good. Sure, let's give that a try. I mean, it's probably not the best one. It might not be the best one, but it's the best I've got at the moment. We'll just play it safe and grab it. It'll give us some extra religious pressure. Janitza can fire upon the enemy. Okay. I guess uh, some poor unfortunate souls here are sharing uh, are sharing the other half of the world with Montezuma. That sucks for them. We'll move these guys out. I think they're safe. I'm not 100% sure. We need to get some horsemen. There's probably some barbarian encampments sitting up there. On the bright side, these guys can try to start repairing things, I guess, because my city's going to zone of control this sucker out of uh, doing anything turn <laughs> for one glorious turn all right what do we got declaration from uh declaration of friendship with portugal's gone probably get one from russia too what is their gold points let's try it no okay they're probably being deceptive Biding their time to attack me. Okay, so this building actually is really good. Because it'll provide one culture and three faith on its own. It'll give great engineer points. And then it also provides a free mosque. Which, on its own, provides two culture, three faith, and one happiness. So that's... that's actually pretty damn decent. Let's blast this sucker. Let's go ahead and... let's go ahead and repair. I think it's high time we got optics. We're going to go hunt that barbarian encampment now. Let's try to put it out of business. Ireis considerar esta oferta? Yeah, we'll certainly take that deal. Hmm. Alright, so we're all of a sudden a lot more unhappy. Interesting. 
And I think I forgot to drop a cut again. My apologies, guys. I really need to get a timer up here in uh, Fraps. There's probably a way to do, or in XSplit, there's probably a way to do that. But anyway, I'm going to drop a cut right here. And I apologize for the really long video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Subscribe if you're enjoying these.